love to burn to effect. Why just create you won't suspect? Like and subscribe, don't forget. Join this journey, no regrets. We've got skills to share. We love to burn to effect. Why just create you won't suspect? Morning YouTube, I hope you're all doing well. Um, Andy here from Custom Carving UK, the home of all things uh, power carving related. And this video is going to be a little bit different and um, you might not realise but it's actually taken over a week to actually finish the project uh, but I'm excited to show it to you. Most of us when we carve we have standard random bits of wood lying around, usually quite boring plain CLS timber uh, or something like that and I wanted to see as a project what I could do with it. Um, I came across uh, a couple of videos uh, from I think it was Blacktail Studio where they used a really cool burnt wood effect and epoxy to make a really good finish and I thought I would see if I could do it myself. So in this video I'm going to take you through each step. It's my first experience um, of actually working with epoxy as well so um, again I'll let you know about that throughout the video but in the end I'm really happy with the result that we got so we got this gorgeous charcuterie board um, from standard CLS timber um, and I absolutely love the finish on the front that we did and you almost get that alligator scale effect uh, with the wood burnt wood look and obviously it's something that very durable rock solid with the epoxy as well and I think it actually enhances the wood so um, I've really enjoyed playing with epoxy and I think I'll be doing a few more projects with that as well as the carving side of things on this channel um, but let's get straight into it how I turned CLS timber into something as gorgeous as this so most of you woodworkers will probably recognize this just a pile of CLS timber what can we do with it so I've started having a look at it trying to get the pieces without too many knots in uh, just measuring my super jaw system to make sure that whatever I put in can fit and the maximum sort of width I can get in there and here's a charcuterie mold that I ordered from Emu um, and I decided I quite like the shape so I wanted to do something similar so just measuring that up If you like the track in the background that I'm going to be playing throughout as well, it's another one that I created just for this project. Something I enjoy doing is making music uh, to go alongside the wood projects that we work on. So over to the chop saw, cutting the pieces to size, ignore Reggie in the background, he always tries to get involved with every project. And back over to my super jaws. And it looks like I did cut them to the right size. Always a good start. Now for the glue up. And the great thing about these uh, super jaws is I use them a lot for log carving, but they're also great at clamping because of the pressure that they apply. So I'm just going to use this for the clamp up with an additional clamp on the end. Make sure you get plenty of wood glue on because the worst thing uh, that can happen in a glue up is that the boards break apart. Lining the edges up and applying some clamping pressure. There we go, now that's dry. Taking this mold out. Originally, I was actually going to put it in the mold, but then uh, I had a rethink. Uh, with the cost of epoxy, I thought 
actually it might be uh, a little bit cheaper just to coat it so just drew the template out the rough shape that i wanted and over to the bandsaw Let us know in the comments, guys, as well, if there's any projects you want uh, to see us make. I'm always interested to know what our subscribers actually want us to do. And we do respond to every comment. So there you go. That is the uh, general charcuterie bowl shape. And I just realized at this point that if I was going to put it in the mold, um, I forgot to account for the mold size. So back over to the bandsaw and recutting that out. Like and subscribe, share the vibe. Join the fun. Don't you hide me, got tips and guide you through. If we can do it, you can too. If we can do it, you can too. Making charcuterie board tips true. There we go, job done, it roughly fits. Now, back over to the Super Jaws with my Makita Angle Grinder and Cut Saw Shaping Disc. Just to give it a bit of texture all the way around the edges. There we go. I can't recommend these shaping wheels enough from Cutsaw. So I'll put a link in the description if anybody wants one. They are expensive, but this one's lasted me four years so far with no issues. Now I'm going to try and uh, put that same texture into the front of the board. And the way I do that is by slightly rolling my angle grinder at different angles as I'm going in with the shaping wheel. This is actually sped up 15 times. So again, don't worry about taking your time. And there we go, got a nice textured effect. I realized at this point, some of the bits were actually sticking out a little bit further than others. So just marked those up and went back with the angle grinder to get them all level. Because at this point, I was gonna still put it in the mold. Now over to the uh, burn station that I've made, just making sure it's level so that hopefully it doesn't warp the wood too much when we actually burn it. As you'll see, this is the fully textured board. And now for the fun part, the fire. Just a cheap butane um, torch that I managed to get off Amazon. Again, I'll put a link in the description if anybody needs one. And the key is here, you want to get a deep burn, but you also want it to be even all the way around so the wood does not warp too much. And for future reference, you're probably better off doing this on some sort of stone rather than using wood because the uh, the wood that I used actually burned quite significantly as well as the charcuterie board. As you'll see, you want to get really deep. You want to get the wood glowing and you want to hear it crackle because that's what creates the, the alligator scales. Just as an afterthought here, guys, as well, I did create a full music video for the track as well, so I'll include that at the end. Uh, enjoy. There we go. Nicely burnt, even finish with that sort of crackled, scaly effect that the burning creates. Now over to the epoxy. This is just some cheap epoxy uh, that I ordered from Timu. Decided to mix it with a little bit of uh, charcoal 
um, powder as well, just to uh, try and fill in those little gaps. If there's anywhere, you can see where I glued up, um, there's still a little bit of wood visible, which I didn't like. So I'm just mixing up some epoxy with some of the charcoal mica powder uh, to fill in and touch up anywhere where I can still see any wood where it hasn't fully burnt through. I also ended up doing a light coating on the whole board in the end, to stop any air bubbles coming up in the final epoxy pour. This is a one-to-one -one ratio, so just mixing one-to-one -one and guesstimating the amount of mica powder, but I still want a translucent effect because I don't want uh, to, uh, the, the whole board to, to sort of look like mica powder. I want it to look like uh, the burnt charcoal effect. So just filling in those gaps. Again, if I'd have done this from a solid board or maybe edged it better, um, when I actually did the glue up, you probably wouldn't see those lines, but I actually like the effect it gives. Now, just making sure that everything's still level. Thing is, with epoxy, it has to be level before you pour. And just using the same epoxy, completely transparent. All over the board. And then just mixing it around with my fingers. Make sure you don't forget the edges. Um, otherwise, it will look a bit poor when, 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 when you finish the result. But I can already start to see that this is going to look great. Make sure you wear gloves because it will burn. Make sure you wear your respirator. Already that's starting to look good. And that, this is just the first coat. Now leave that for 24 hours. Um, I actually found a Tupperware container it was probably the best way to stop any dust getting to it. And and look, that's looking great um, already. And it said that in total, I put three coats on the top. I'm just going to hop in now and say that um, although it might surprise you, but 95% of the people that view these videos don't actually subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow, helps us keep this content coming. It takes two seconds of your time and you will also get notifications if you put them on of every time we release a new video. Back to the video. Okay, back to the project and now to do something with the back. You can see the little driplets where uh, the epoxies come through and also I think the, uh, the, the top handle part rested on the container. So just decided at this point to sand everything back from the wood, um, texting that the front, um, but literally just sanded everything back down to a 320 grip from the back and decided to finish everything off with mineral oil. I really like the, the slightly burnt and charred effect that I left in the wood as well on the back. I hope you'll agree. You see, I'm just protecting the front with some microfiber cloths because the last thing I want is to scratch that front after we've spent all, all of that time and days of waiting for the epoxy to dry. Wiping off the excess oil. And now to apply the mineral oil to the front. Look at that sheen. Made with fire, wood and epoxy. Like and subscribe. Hey. We love and wiping off the excess. If we can do it, you can too. Making charcuterie art is true. Crafted with love. Absolutely love that effect that we've created. So here it is, the finished charcuterie board from standard CLS timber. And I think you'll agree that, that the effect is amazing. Um, I might actually try a table with this um, or my desk that I've currently got because I've got a cheap MDF desk. And I think that would look really good if I could uh, do the same effect with the desk. This is the back. And there you have it beautiful charcuterie board took about a week because of the um delay in waiting for the epoxy to dry 
Um, the one I used took 24 hours between coat, but I hope you'll agree. Uh, the end result looks amazing. Let us know your thoughts in comments, like and share it. Let's get a few more eyes on this and try it yourselves. You know, I'll be keen to see what you guys can actually make. But um, really, really happy with the result. Don't forget, stay tuned for more videos coming up to custom carving. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Now here's the music video. We love the burn to effect. Why just create you won't suspect. Like and subscribe, don't forget. Join this journey, no regrets. We've got skills to share. It's true. And if we can do it, you can too. If we can do it, you can too. Making charcuterie boards, it's true. Crafted with love, just for you. Join us, join us. It's what we do Custom Carving UK Made with fire, wood and epoxy Like and subscribe Hey, we love the burnt wood effect If we can do it, you can too Making charcuterie boards, it's true Crafted with love, just for you Join us, join us, it's what we do Spark the flame, watch the fire dance In our shop, we take a chance Custom Harvard UK is the brand Crafting with passion, it's in our hands Like and subscribe, share the vibe Join the fun, don't you hide, we got tips to guide you through If we can do it, you can too If we can do it, you can too Making charcuterie boards, it's true Crafted with love, just for you Join us, join us, it's what we do the beat, tools and hands, custom carving in the UK, it's our land. What a neat party, fires the light in the workshop with passion day and night. Like and subscribe, don't forget, join this journey, no regrets. We've got skills to share, it's true, and we can do it. If we can do it, you can too. Making charcuterie boards, it's true. Cutting shapes, making art. Redefining from the start. Epoxy foreign taking us higher Crafting dreams made of stone and chrome Pick the wood, light the fire Epoxy pouring, taking us higher Feel the rhythm, watch the spark Burn the fat thing like it's a tribe Stay in the loop Join our family, be in our group Killing the heat in our workshops glow Crafting dreams from the ground below Custom coffee you came that's the name, charcuterie boards, bringing the fame, burn wood effect, flame ignites in the rhythm of the night, what a foxy, learn to find, watching patterns intertwine, like and subscribe, journey with us, passion and skill, no need to rush, crafting, crafting with a touch of flair, wood and epoxy, like we can.
confirm to effect why just pray you won't suspect like and subscribe don't forget join this journey no regrets we've got skills to share it's true